You see how we, how we make these things? Um, this is Shiraz, this is from my neighbor, um, just up the road. Um, got the most amazing vineyard, the most amazing Shiraz, really peppery, spicy. Um, this was picked two days ago, and you'll notice it's, it's full of stalks. You know, this was just whole bunches that were thrown into the tank and just trodden on gently for a while. Um, I suppose most winemakers would like scream and get all panicky if they see these stalks in the fermenters, but for us this is quite an integral part of our style. You know, we're looking for the, the stalkiness, um, the stalky flavors from the Shiraz add a, a certain freshness to the wine and structure. We leave the wines and skins for a long time. We don't over extract, we don't try too hard. Um, we work very, very carefully, and we find that the stalks, the whole bunch of stuff, the, you know, these berries, most of these berries, the whole berries, uh, fermentation takes place inside these berries. Uh, the fruit profile of the wines is amazing. Um, the stalks give it a certain structure and backbone, and the resulting wines are sort of typical of what we produce here, sort of perfumed, um, nice, fresh acidities. Um, that's what wines should be, you know, they should be refreshing. You know, if we had to take out all these stalks, We'd make like really beautiful wines with beautiful tannins, elegant tannins, structured, you know, just beautifully um, uh, integrated tannins. But, you know, life is, is not about that. We never ever want to make perfect wines. We never will be. Most of the times these things are like uh, uh, vinegar fly traps. Huh? <laughs> you just see caught it on a good day. I think it's just too hot. Huh? They're just pissed off elsewhere. Um, but so we'll, we'll walk this through once or twice a day until it's finished fermenting and they off, we leave it on the skins for a couple of weeks and that's it, huh? straight into barrel, into those big casks you saw inside um, and we leave it there and hope for the best and I think this year is a fabulous vintage, 2010 the stuff is really looking amazing